Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to get a pretty good high score in Shiver Snowfields at night using this route. So first we're going to get this Piplup here. If you want to get him as he turns around, it's okay if you don't. Then you can get this Mydiana here as he's digging into the log. Hit him with the apple so that way the Delibird will pop up and you can get a nice picture of it. And now you can quickly turn around, hit the Sand Slash. Get a nice picture with the pose. Here you can get a pretty good snow run picture. Now remember to hit this orb on this sand slash. This will stop the braviary from flying. And you can get a nice picture there. Remember to, we're going to take the alternate route here. We're going to use most of our snapshots on Suicune. So as we enter this area we're going to get a pretty nice picture of Crabominable here as he's heading towards the other side of the road. And just remember to hit him again with the orb so he can punch the tree. Snow will fall on Obama Snow. Take a nice picture of Obama Snow. Process will appear here. Take a screenshot of it so it will open the next route for you. Take the Frost Moth. Hit this crab on twice with the apples. Wake up the Glaceon here and Take a nice picture as it leaps. Take the picture of the Snom, the Furret, and the Weevil. It's a lot to take in here. It all goes pretty quickly, so make sure you take the practice. You want to make the, wake the Crab Abominable so it punches the tree for those Snom. Those Snom will give you a very nice 4,000 points easily. In this cave, we're going to wake up this Jinx. This Jinx will give us a nice big chunk of points too with this pose and on the other side we have the Vanillox you can throw an apple at it and wake it up this Vivillon here a bit tricky if you get a nice picture you can get 4,000 points from it this cup true here is probably our best chance to get at the high score there now here we're going to throw some orbs at the Jinx and Avalog Avalog can get a nice picture there. The Dugong can lure it forward a bit more towards you so you can get a nice big size and pose for a decent amount of points. And remember to get the Bear Tick here. And in this small pool, if you throw your fruit in there, there is a Magikarp there. You can take that in there too. We're only missing a few more Pokemon. We're going to take a picture of the Mamoswine. Sweet coming as it's coming. Remember to throw an orb at it. And this is where we can start getting most of our snapshots used on the Sweet Coon. So once it's staying still, you can take some pictures. I realized here I forgot to take a picture of the swine up. That's fine. No big deal. Just wait for the Avalog or Sweet Coon to move out of the way. There's the swine up. And now we can use 35 more pictures on the Sweet Coon. Use as many as you can, get those nice pictures in there. And just save one more for the Auroras at the end. And with our last picture, we can time ourselves and get a nice picture of Auroras. There we go. And that's it. Let's see what the total score is. So again, we take one picture of every other Pokemon and the rest goes all into Suicune. How was it? And that's pretty much what are going to determine how high of a score you get because of that Suicune. Alright, so let's see. Most of our Pokemon should be over 4,000. Nice Piplip was nice. Mediana was pretty good. Nice Delibird's Probably the highest, around 4,000-ish there. The Brave area is uh, easily, you can get 4,000 consistently like that. Same with the Corominable. Bomb of Snow should also give you over 4,000, no problem. Frostlass, a bit tricky, but again, in this area you have to pretty much go through everything quickly to get all the Pokemon snaps, at least once for everything. 
And then again, the ferret and the weevil as they're running through, get some nice pictures of those. Again, it's going to take a bit of practice to time them. In the cave, pretty simple. You can take a bit of a breather here. Only four Pokemon in there. That's probably the best cup chew you can get there. The Avalog is going to give you easily over 4,000 every time with that pose. Same with the Bear Tick. The Magikarp, just take at least one picture of it. It's pretty far away, can't do much about it. Same with the Nama Swine and Swine Up. And then we dump all our points into Suicune, she give us over 5,000 in most of our pictures. And then finally end with Auraris. And that should give you a total of over... 9 million points if you get all those good Suicune shots in. And for me, after doing this, I got a small PB personal best on this. And that did put me in the leaderboards uh, in 5th place at the time. So yeah, that's my route for this. Hope you guys have any suggestions for better pictures or poses, let me know, leave them in comments. And once again, thank you all for watching and have a good one.